Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pet Touch channel. Today, as you can see from this napkin with this two repeating letters, I'm going to try something that was freaky fast and freaky fresh from Jimmy John's. And they have a new uh, limited seasonal sandwich. Um, and like I said, every time I try one of these, they've all been pretty good. Um, some of them very good. Some of them mildly good. I don't think I've had one that I really hated necessarily, but definitely some very good ones and some kind of mid. Today's one is actually called the, let's get the right name, Caprici, Caprici Salami Pesto. And the Caprici Salami Pesto um, it comes on, you can get on any, any button, you know, that they have there. But it has salami, as the name says, fresh mozzarella. Uh, I think they have salami in other sandwiches, so that's not like a hugely new thing. Um, but salami, fresh mozzarella, which I don't think fresh mozzarella was on any sandwich before. Onions, slow roasted tomatoes, which I believe is new for this one. An oregano basil mix, which I think they've had before. It might have been some other seasoning. I don't know. Uh, balsamic glaze, which I believe is new. Basil pesto, which I believe is new. Um, and then mayonnaise and oil, which I do not think are new at all. Let's open it up. A little bit of definitely some oil inside there. So I'll put the napkin underneath so my desk doesn't get oily. My hands are already oily. And the top of the bun is very shiny. Of the oil, um, and I see some of the glaze on the side here. When you look on the side, you see there's some green basil, you can see the mozzarella, uh, you can see some of that uh, balsamic glaze, and it's very moist with the oil. Let's give it a try. So, the salami is cut very thin, and there's not a heck of a lot of it. Uh, the main thickness of this, actually the mozzarella cheese, and maybe the tomato once I get to it. Uh, but that balsamic glaze is really the strongest flavor that I got for the first bite. Let's continue. I haven't gotten any of the tomato yet, so I'll let you know my opinion on this next bite. But I think that's where I'll get some of that tomato. Mm hmm. Not many people know this, but tomatoes actually have their own natural uh, MSG in them. And if you like dry tomatoes down, turn it into a powder, and get like a tomato flakes or tomato powder, it actually can enhance a lot of different meals. Not necessarily make it taste more tomatoey, but like have a rich savory flavor. At least slow roasted tomatoes definitely like concentrate that down into the cooking process and give you a nice it is it is tomatoey because it, you do still have a lot of uh, heft and, and tomato matter there so you're definitely getting a tomato flavor but it's more of a savory tomato than a sweet tomato The pesto gives you like this piney, herbal essence. So you have 
this thick cut, creamy, fresh mozzarella. You have these like umami bombs of the roasted tomato. You have this sweet balsamic glaze that's kind of like a little tart, a little sweet. You have the pesto sauce. And then you have a piney, herbaly flavor to it. The, the meat is actually probably... You want to taste it by itself, yeah. It tastes kind of like salami. There's like so many other things going on. That, that like salinity of the the meat itself really doesn't have a uh, majority when it comes to flavor on the sandwich, especially since they're so thin and everything else is so big. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Jimmy John's has done it again. Every single one of their seasonal limited sandwiches I've always gotten excited about because they're consistently good. And in this case, really superb. I would definitely order this again. Jimmy John's. Whoever you're you're hiring to come up with these things, make sure you give them a raise, sign them a long-term contract, because they're doing stuff right. Mm. I think before this, my favorite was that roast beef, blue cheese, horseradish one. This one might be better. Mm. There's just so much flavor. Every Every like taste bud on my tongue is activated. It's got sweet, it's got salt, it's got sour, it's got umami. The only bad thing I can say about the sandwich is it's kind of messy. There's so many sauces on it. You got your pesto, your balsamic, and your mayo, and oil. That's four different liquid things that are in here. And they all play a role, and they're all good. So, I wouldn't remove any of them, but I will tell you, this is not something you can get in your car or really like walking around or on the go. It's not something you have to sit down and enjoy. And enjoy it, you will. Mm. If you're a fan of Caprese salads, which I am, who doesn't love thick cut mozzarella? A nice fresh cut of a really ripe, high quality tomato. A little bit of basil or pesto sauce in this case. Balsamic. That's all you need. Really good stuff.
Mm. Yeah, my perfect. Mm. I'm so glad that Jimmy sold his restaurant because he wasn't doing anything with it. He was holding the status quo. I don't I wouldn't say anything like necessarily bad about anything with sandwiches they had. It was kind of stagnant. They sold it. They got some people to work on some new sandwiches. But still, it still feels like Jimmy John's because everything is fresh. We put together on this fresh bread. But the new creations are just superb. This one, especially so. The Jimmy John's Salami Caprese. Caprese Salami Pesto. I'm called the CSP. It's very good. Ugh. And I recommend it to all of you. The two thumbs up. Official seal of approval from the Fat Hipster. Go to Jimmy John's and try it right now. You won't regret it. But that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. And like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video, whenever that may be. But until then, adios.